Want to know how I built this custom cable system? I'm gonna show you, coming up. I'm not talking about the attachment for the weight and I'm not talking about the attachment such as the rope or the bar. I've been working on my home gym for quite some time and I've been buying a lot of stuff from PRX because they're just an awesome company, really appreciate you guys. And I did order their pulley system. However, I was only able to really do high movements up top and not really much down low and I needed to fix that. I wanted to go to my local hardware store to get this stuff. I also wanted to give you a simple fix and I'm quite happy to tell you that I found that fix. So this large carabiner in that size, three of these little carabiners, a nice pulley, and then a cable, a coated cable, and it has all the fixins. And this is how you create it. So you're gonna wanna take this big carabiner and put it into the smaller carabiner. Take the smaller carabiner, put it into your pulley. The reason that I wanted to do that was to give myself more freedom and flexibility. That way when I'm doing the row, I'm not limited. It's sort of locked down, if that makes sense. I didn't want to have to screw anything into this rack. I just wanted to be able to take it and plug it in. Holy crap, it worked. Oh, so rad, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that pulley, we're gonna attach it up to this pulley with the new cable, and now you have your opportunity for low rows. So the coated wire was about seven bucks. The pulley was $5.98. Little tiny carabiners got three of those, $3.98 a piece. And then the big carabiner was $5.44. So really inexpensive. This is a total of 30 feet. I'm not gonna need that much. putting this little carabiner into whatever your attachment's gonna be, putting that into there, and then latching that onto there, there it is, there's your system. But now I gotta figure out how much I actually need, so I'm gonna throw it through. Just measured it all out, it's gonna be about 135 inches where I'm gonna cut it. Try to cut it. Don't show how much I struggled on this. <laughs> so now I'm gonna go through and do the same thing I did on the other end, loop this thing. So just finished the other end and putting the loop in it. Now I attach that carabiner. This is what it attaches onto for the weight. I also wanted to show you how I ended up storing this. My intention was to make this very seamless. I didn't want to take it all the way out of this cabinet and then have to put it up and take it down every single time. So what I did was I left the pulley up and then I created just a, something in the back that I was able to loop the wire around and it just sits down. That's just a very standard pin that you can get from any hardware store and I just put this little clamp on the back of it so it wouldn't fall down. The cables just rest up there. So even when I put the rack up on the wall, the cable system 
is always installed. That's the original cable from PRX for doing tricep extensions and more higher movements. And then that other cable is for whenever I wanna do lower movements. So it's very versatile and they're already looped through the actual main cable. So it's very simple. So there it is. That's the homemade cable system. Hope that helps. If you're new to this channel, I appreciate you sliding by. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way, every time I put out a video, you're going to know about it. You don't have to be perfect at this building your own cable system. Just try to be better than yesterday. Every day.